Here is a show that was quite popular when it began airing and is now mostly forgotten because of the ridiculous amount of fluff that comes out every season. It starts by establishing the eccentric waifus, and because it's based on a light novel, each one of the girls is defined by a cosplay fetish. One of them dresses like a playboy bunny, another one has a brother complex and dresses like a bear. And no, they don't play it off as a cute joke, but as a sexual fetish. Like all light novels, half the things they say is sexual foreplay, and the other half is lazy exposition. The characters are telling you what is going on instead of showing it, resulting in 80% of the show being them standing still and flapping their mouths. So if it's so painfully shallow and like pretty much any other light novel, why did so many like the show? Because it had the same style as a previous anime called My Teen Romantic Comedy Snafu. The protagonist has a deadpan face and soliloquizes about the dark aspects of the society he lives in. He's basically another self-insert for any teenager who thinks he's too smart and people don't get him even though he means well. He's also a pervert, which is supposed to make him relatable to any ronery out there who thinks he's too smart for women to notice him. You can slap the this is literary me meme over here and you don't have to say anything else regarding the appeal. There is more to it, obviously. As if the novels were inspired by Bakemonogatari, the plot comes down to the protagonist helping out girls who have been cursed and experience weird supernatural phenomena such as everybody forgetting you exist or a cyberbullying inflicting actual injuries on your body. The way they deal with those issues is nothing down to earth, they just use word plays and metaphysical theories such as Schrodinger's cat and the Laplace demon that don't amount to anything significant at the end because it's a rom-com. They just yell, I love you! And the problem is magically fixed. Nothing is deep in this show, you're just watching it for the sex jokes and the constant jabs at the evils of society. This last part is also where the show falls apart thematically. The social issues that the girls suffer from are real. They are stuff most teenagers experience in some shape or form. The way they deal with them, on the other hand, is not real. They are metaphysical nonsense. The show can't really teach you anything since it doesn't care about offering practical solutions or even advices. It settles for snarky social remarks, sex harassment jokes, self-deprecating comebacks, and dates in plot since it's about an ever-expanding support harem and silly resolutions of the sort I love you that keep the overall atmosphere floaty. As if sex is the solution for every problem. That is apparently enough to count as amazing for most in the core audience, which consists of depressed and antisocial males who think they can offend women all the time and still be loved by them because they're being helpful. You know, the simp mentality! The protagonist, who we're supposed to think he's a good guy, loves to be mocked and stepped on by girls. Do I need to say more? In case you didn't know, in reality most girls will avoid you if you keep sexually harassing them. They won't be forgetting what you just said and move on with the dialogue, as if the insult never happened, because that happens in the show every time sex harassment takes place. Also, most men don't tolerate insults by girls, even if they are true. They don't like being called the creeps and they certainly don't love being stepped on. Also, women will dump you the moment they see you talking to another girl. Even if you just wanna help her, they are very selfish creatures. They don't want you to redirect your attention to anyone other than themselves. If they don't mind it, it's only because they want to exploit your simp mentality for favors. Which is exactly what the protagonist does throughout the show. A real man would never wish to be constantly mocked and exploited by women. But that is not what you will find in this anime, because it's a date sim about a simp and it's not trying to be realistic. It talks about real issues, but it doesn't bother dealing with them in a realistic manner. That's what makes it modern, and why Miyazaki was calling modern anime a mistake! Anyways, back to talking about this anime and what I think of it outside of its terrible thematic exploration. It's boring! Unbelievably boring! There is nothing going on in it, despite starting off as a low-key urban horror. 
In the first episode you are told the supernatural curse is making people forget your existence or cyberbullying fills your body with scars. That's some really scary premise going on here. Midway through the show, all that are completely gone. As the harem lead is waking up next to his incestuous sister. Then he has fun studying with his cosplay bunny girl. And then he has more fun with his second girlfriend by going to the beach where he sexually harasses her and she insults him back. There is no urgency, there are no actual stakes and the pacing is dreadfully slow. Oh, and as usually, parents, teachers, scientists and adults in general don't matter in the least, although they can technically offer a lot more help. Because down to it, everything comes down to first world problems that a bunch of typical teenagers can fix by doing nothing out of the ordinary, having a jolly good time with their carefree first world lives, and shouting I love you as means to fix supernatural curses that cause existential horrors. The last thing I want to mention is that the show gets a lot more serious in the last episodes and the movie's sequel. The sex jokes are fewer, the drama is stronger, and the conflict has more impact. Unfortunately, it doesn't become better that way, because they deal with negative consequences by using time, time resets. resets! The typical go-to fix whenever the author doesn't know how to be creative. Did you really expect a realistic and down-to-earth resolution for a change? Nope! Even at its most sad and depressing moments, Rascal simps for a bunny girl cosplayer is still a silly date sim that comes down to I love you! fixing every problem. Everything else is sexual harassment jokes and deprecating comebacks. Modern, Modern anime, anime were a mistake. mistake.